Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So we're in the middle of September now, which is crazy because that means fall is about to come. I haven't felt it quite yet just because it's so warm in Nashville still. It's supposed to be like 90 degrees today, but in early prep for fall, I, after two years of having so many tabs open for this, decided to buy a pair of Doc Martens. So the specific model I have here are these 1460 Pascal boots in Virginia leather. So what's so great about Virginia leather is that in comparison to their usual classic smooth leather, it's much softer. So it requires a lot less breaking in and it has much more of a worn in look, which I absolutely adore. I think it'll be a great boot for the fall and I'm anticipating wearing it quite frequently. And so the rest of this video, I'm just gonna show you a couple ways of how I decided to dress this boot up, so stay tuned. So this first outfit I want to talk about is what I recently have been calling my exemplary Trader Joe's outfit. Every single time I've worn this outfit, I've received so many kind compliments, whether it's like from my barista or like a sales associate. Everybody has been saying such nice words, so I thought it would pair amazingly with Doc's. There's such a cute contrast between the shoes and the outfit itself, and although it does look like I just came out of like my Williamsburg apartment and I'm about to buy like gluten-free bread, I do just straight up feel so alive when I wear a shirt that's like this tropical and this like poppy, and I'll definitely be wearing the heck out of it until we hit sub-70s in Nashville. So this next outfit, I thought I'd bring out another cute floral outfit for the summer. The skirt is from Brandy Melville and the top is from Zara. And I thought I'd bring out this chain to make the whole look look slightly edgier. I think I have always been a person that gravitates more towards soft looks. I've been told that I like dress like a mom sometimes, but <laughs> I've definitely been trying to experiment more, especially this past summer with wearing outfits that are slightly edgier, a little out of my comfort zone. And so I think these docks will also further push me to explore my sense of style. I think this outfit would be fabulous for running errands in the city. The kind of day where you'd like buy flowers for yourself just for fun and you'd like smile and wave at everybody because you know you're like a main character in some type of film. <laughs> but anyways, I do think this outfit is super cute and I hope to wear this as the summer comes to an end. Alrighty, so this next outfit is what a lot of my friends have been calling this like Whaley outfit. So if you watch YouTube, you know that Whaley it has this sort of like pure neutral mom type vibe and I think this outfit totally fits up that alley. The top is from Aritzia and it's their sculpt knit tank and the bottoms are from Reformation. And again, I think the docks add a nice touch of edge to a generally soft looking outfit. And okay, I'm about to make a really odd comparison, but bear with me. You know that TikTok that goes like, open up the safe, bitch has got a lot to say. And then they go, grr. I think the outfit goes, grr. It's, you know what? You know, I'm like sick. <laughs> but overall, I think this outfit is very, very cute. I think I'd wear this out really for any occasion. I have gotten so many compliments again when I go out. I have been loving this outfit and I hope to also wear this until the summer ends. Alrighty, so next up is this outfit with this cute floral top from Madewell and this corduroy skirt that I received as a gift from my roommate um, and it's from American Apparel. I do think corduroy and docks have this weird like non-confirmational type of marriage with one another which I think is great. Interestingly enough, I think without the docks, the outfit looks almost like church Sunday chic, but once you add the docks in, it brings sort of like a utility element to an otherwise soft look. I think this outfit would be such a cute fall outfit and something I'd probably wear to just like go to a bookstore or like a cute like rainy day type outfit. 
So this next outfit, I thought I'd just go full blast with contrasting themes and bring out a floral dress. This piece is from Urban Outfitters and it actually is a romper. It was one of those like clothing items that like falls to the back of your wardrobe, but then once you find it, you're like, oh my gosh. So I think it pairs really well with docks. In a weird way, I feel like the pattern feeds into the edginess of the dock because the romper itself sort of tickles the edge of edgy, but it's not like entirely edgy. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's a really cute outfit and I thought I'd top it off with a few pieces of gold jewelry. Alrighty, so the next outfit is this long simple black dress from Maritzia and I think the streamlined black color and simplicity of the outfit itself works really well together. Although it does seem like an elevated look just because of the dress, it's actually so easy to put on and so comfortable to feel in. I think it'd be like one of those outfits that like you wear to traders just to signify that like, you know, you're doing well, you got yourself together. <laughs> I think it's such a cute outfit and definitely something that I will be wearing throughout the year. Alrighty, so this next outfit is another all black outfit, but I thought I'd throw in a pop of color with the windbreaker that I have here. The leggings are from Gap and the top is from Zara and the windbreaker is thrifted from L Train and I think this is another outfit where I kind of look like a Street Fighter type of character or like an old school anime character, but I absolutely love it. Um, the all black really slims down and elongates my figure in a way, and I could totally see myself just wearing this out day to day, and I can't wait to wear it as it gets cooler here in Nashville. Alrighty, so this next outfit, I thought I'd feed into the inner basic girl in me and bring out this Vineyard Vines oversized shirt. Um, it really feeds into this Nashville vibe and I noticed after moving out of New York that oversized is such a look in the South. It's like over either oversized or like very floral brunchy outfits and I'm totally the type of person to lean into oversized so I thought I'd incorporate this outfit to you know maintain my southern belle status. Alrighty so next up I have this outfit that I put together. The green top is from Brandy Melville and the cargo pants are from Zara. I have been loving these pants so much and I hope to wear them more this fall. I do feel like when I wear this outfit, I look like I should be like in a Gap ad or something. <laughs> but I think it's really cute. I love the neutral tones of this outfit and I think it will be a wonderful outfit to bring into the fall weather. So the last outfit I want to talk about today is what I think is one of the easiest way to dress docks, which is just pairing it with mom jeans and a chunky winter knit sweater. The jeans are from PacSun and the sweater was thrifted from L Train Vintage and I think it looks like the ultimate cozy winter outfit. I think I could totally see myself wearing this more so in the winter. I think I do kind of look like a fake Asian Emma Chamberlain. It's very like Emma Chamberlain of an outfit but I think it's so cute. It works for a reason and I can't wait to wear this more as it gets colder here in Nashville. And that is the end of this video for today. I hope you were able to draw some inspiration from the outfits that I put together. I know I am fairly excited about wearing these shoes a lot into the fall and winter. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.